Hi everyone, welcome to this week's What and Webflow, and today we're going to show you how to create an app-like transition within your Webflow project. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so we are taking a look at our project and this design actually came from the awesome product designer Gabe Becker. Uh, a description or a link to his work will be in the description below. Uh, but let's take a look to see what we're actually creating. So what we're going to create is a smooth app-like transition uh, right within the browser. So if I scroll down here to the learn more button and click seamless fade in fade out uh, but what you'll notice is that it is a page load so the URL changes for each load and then I can go back and it fades out to the home page pretty cool so now let's take a look at our webflow project to see how this was created <clears throat> Alrighty, so now we're in our Webflow project and the first steps we're going to do is take a look at the custom code to make this work. So we're going to go to the top left, go into our project settings, then go to our custom code. And here you will notice where the initial JavaScript for the Barber.js is uh, being implemented. And this is actually a Webflow uh, uh, upload. So let's jump back into the designer to see how this works. So this file is actually a .txt file instead of a .js file. And this type of file can easily be uploaded as a asset right within our project. So this is that file right here. And I originally got it from cdn.js or you can go to barbarjs.org. So if I type in barba, you'll see that it is the uh, first one that will pop up. And these are the uh, CDNs that I can use or I can download it from barbarjs.org and host it myself. Pretty cool. Alrighty, so we're back in our Webflow project in the custom code tab of the project. As you can see, we have the uploaded uh, TXT file for the JavaScript in the head of our project. And then this in the foot or uh, footer code is where you'll notice the uh, actual implementation for the fade in fade out. And so you can change the uh, duration or the time of the fade out uh, by making it longer or shorter. So currently, you'll see here it is set for 500. And if you go to barberjs.org, there'll be a plethora of different examples and other type of functions that you can utilize to customize your own project. All right, so we have this implemented. We have it saved. Now let's jump into our project to see what our actual framework is. So we have our design here and the only thing needed for Barber.js to work is two div wrappers. So right now what I want to change is this section here to change when I load to the learn more to change this section here. So everything from here down I want to change and from here down, I want to change. Everything else I want to remain the same. And that's what Barber.js can uh, do for us. So what I did is I placed these items, my nav and my hero, within the two required wrappers for Barber.js. The first one, the Barber wrapper, is required to have the Barber-wrapper ID. And the second one, Barber container, is required to have barber-container as a CSS class. And you'll note this in the barberjs.org site. And that is all that you need to do. So any website, any project that you do, if you want a certain specific uh, amount of content to fade in and fade out between pages, place it in between these two wrappers. And that's it. After that is completed, simply publish. And it fades in 
and fades out, changing from one page to the next, looking like a seamless transition. Pretty cool. Now let's have a proper goodbye. Pretty cool. So today we learned how to create a seamless page transition, so much so that it doesn't even look like a page is loading. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. In the description, you'll find a link to the Barbara JS library, as well as to the clonable project. See y'all next week.